Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to create links through the terminal in Linux. And I'm going to begin by showing you the three components to a file. The three components to a file are the data, which is the contents of the file, the name, which of course is the name of the file, and the inode. And the inode stores information about a file. And now I'm going to show you a diagram of a hard link. And this is a diagram that I got from techthrob.com. It didn't have the author's name, so I don't know who to give credit to except for the website itself. But I thought this was a pretty good example of how to view what a hard link actually does. And it says a hard link is a direct pointer to the data on the hard disk. A hard link is identical to the original file, and any modifications you make to the hard link version are made to the original version as well, since you are modifying the same physical space on the hard disk. And you can see here where it shows the original files here, and then there's the data that's on the hard disk here. The hard link goes straight to the data on the hard disk. It does not go to the original file, but instead straight to the data. You can also picture a hard link as an alternate name for a file's data. In other words, a hard link is just another file name for the same data. And again, deleting, moving, or renaming the file has no effect on the hard link, and vice versa. So first I'm going to type ls-l capital F and hit enter. And this is what I was looking for, my hard link example.tech. This is the original copy of the file and I'm going to create a hard link that's just going to be called my hard link that will point to this file. So now I'm going to type ln and then the name of the file. And then, like I said, I'm going to rename the file to just my hard link. And I'm going to hit enter. Now, if I type the ls-lf command, you can see the original file here is my hard link example.txt. And now here's the hard link right here. And we can compare the files by using the cat command. So I'm going to type cat. And then the name of the file and there's the contents of the original file and now I'm going to look at the hard link to the file and there you can see it has the exact same contents as the original and again if I was to modify or edit the hard link it would also change the contents of the original file and now we're going to create a soft or symbolic link so I'm going to type ls-lf again and now I'm going to type ln-s for soft or symbolic link and then the name of the original file and then whatever you're going to name the soft link so for this one I'm just going to type hard link example dot txt and then I'm going to hit enter and now if I type ls-lf here's the soft link here and it's saying the soft link is pointing to the original myhardlink example.txt. And if I was wanting to view the contents of each of them, I could type cat. And then I'll type the name of the soft link, which is hardlink example.txt. Hit enter. And there's the contents. It says this is my hard link. And now if I type cat and the name of the original file. There's the contents of the original file, so they're both the same right now. Now one thing to remember with the soft link is that you can write to open, run, and otherwise use symbolic links as if they were the actual original file. And a good way to picture a symbolic link or a soft link is picture it as kind of like a Windows shortcut. And symbolic links specify a path to the original file. Altering that original file breaks the sim link. If you move, rename, or delete the original file, the sim link remains but points to nothing. Moving, renaming, or deleting the symbolic file has no effect on the original file. And I have a little diagram here to show you of the soft link. And as you can see, the soft link points to the original file and then to the data on the hard disk. Unlike the hard link, which pointed straight to the data on the hard disk. So as you can see, just like I said, if you picture this as a Windows shortcut, 
here's your shortcut, here's your original file, and then here's the data on the hard disk. If you wanted to remove a link, say if I wanted to remove the soft link, I could type RM and then the name of the link and then hit enter. And now if I type ls-lf and you can see the soft link now is gone. And that's how you create hardened soft links through the terminal in Linux. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.